Hey everybody, welcome back to Game Before Time. We are back at the glowy, glowy glow of the glowy land. Looks cool. It does look cool. Uh, no. Just go to the left. Deemed going to the left. Wrong left. Oh, right. See? Left-handed. Did I go all the way to the left then? We. We snow. We snow? We snow. <clears throat> What are you saying? Hiya! It was an episode of Spongebob where Spongebob gets a seahorse. Who's Spongebob? It... <laughs> God. Okay, what happens if you go to the real world? <laughs> oh, man. This game is trippy, yo. Ooh, what's that? Whoa! Hey, maybe, maybe. look at him! He remembers! He remembered! Hold up the Master sword. sword. You will get the magic of ether. Boom! You ruined that. That was really cool. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's neat. That's neither here or there. Oops. Here nor there. You got your thing. Screw it. <laughs> I heard you. Thanks. Delivery guy uh, could have used a little bit of. Uh, just a touch. A little TLC. Did you need... Can you just walk across the bridge? Yeah, but I'm gonna fly back to... No, no, I mean, did we need to go to the Dark World to do all this, or could we have... No. Why not? Because we got to that dungeon before, on foot. Uh... That's fine. Just do... Just, <laughs> just do six. All right. Progress. The magic of ether! All right. By the, by the power of ether? By the power of ether. What color? I'm going to either a color. Gray skull? Is that where we're going with this? Yes. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> Get on there! <laughs> Whoa! It's not a cool Whoa! Door. Whoa! Nor is it icy! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, that's what I we're saying. I have the power! You went standing. <laughs> Wait, did it work? Oh, it's working. Yeah. Okay, that was really funny. I thought for a second it wasn't working. So did I. I thought he missed it by just <laughs> enough. They really look like faces, hey? Yeah, I don't like them. One trip. They're definitely insectoids of some sort. Oh, hi. Ooh, I like the design too. Like, do you see like the door that you just came in? Yeah. And then the. Yeah, the yeah, it's man really man. nice. It's like a uh, very. Um, Feels like I'm inside a praying mantis. Relatable. What? <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of the beginning of, uh, what do you call it? Hmm. Shadow Temple. Oh, yeah. You walk in, hang a right, and have to hook shot across. I wonder if that little... Ooh, oh finally, no! You're trying to fight some super annoying mages. Why are you standing right in front of him? I thought I could kill him. Oh! I mean, if you hit him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've always hated the idea of unkillable enemies, especially in the Zelda games like these. But they fixed that at least. You still can't kill those, can you? Yeah? Bomb them. As long as the bomb hits their eye. In Majora's you couldn't. Yeah, you could. Are you sure? 100%. I guess I didn't want to waste my bombs. Because Ocarina you could. Hmm. Woo! Okay. <laughs> He's jazzed, man. He's just happy Why to be here. Why don't you just go into those doors? I don't understand. Well, because, like, He's I... He's overwhelmed with choice, is what's yeah. happening. Did you not see him? He went through every choice, like, three times, because he wasn't sure <sighs> which one he wanted to do. I guess so. Man, that's how I'm feeling with Elden Ring. I'm always like, I've got so many things to do. And the obvious choice is, pick one of them, it doesn't matter, and then go to the next one. Mm. But it's just such a crippling feeling of, I could do anything. Yeah. I think you're starting to get that. How far can you go without having to fight any of the big bosses? Can you, based on what you've seen so far, how far could you could I have gone if I don't fight uh, what, who I believe is Roderick? You could get to where I am in the game and not fight a single shard bearer. What's the point? Hmm? Is there a point? Besides progressing the, the main story? Do you want to know? Nah. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I you won't find out. Because you're probably going to explore quite thoroughly and fight whatever you can, right? Yeah. So, if I tell you, it's not going to ruin anything. Mm. So, there's a place 
Um, I don't know how far it is in the game because I'm not near the end. Um, but it's a closed door until you've defeated two of the shard bearers. And you have access to four oh, of them of that. before you get it. So if you're like, man, Stormvale Castle and the boss in, in there suck, you're doing like a speed run or a challenge run, then you could, you can walk around Stormvale Castle and go to the next area. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. You know what it indicates? I'm dying. Do you know why you're dying? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! I, I love how frantic, frantic you are sometimes. It's good. It's oh. working. Ah! Yeah, see? I don't know how you dodged that. It Me neither. <laughs> it was incredible, actually. I was getting ready to razz him and... Why don't you just leave him? <sighs> well, these guys don't teleport all over the map. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was a choice. Not the right choice, but that choice. Hey, you got a key! Why? Why not? Well, now there's a safe path across. What's your master plan, man? He's chasing me! I'm scary! Run around! It's a skeleton! Wouldn't you be scared? No. What? You know those are spikes, right? Yeah! Okay. No, no, I don't want to be a pig. Not being critical, I just want to make sure that you know. What? Oh, I can't go through that. Do you get some? Why are you getting this temple? It's gotta be something to help deal with spikes, I think. Hmm. What? What are you doing? Oh, Finding just, hearts. Just dying. I like that. I like my answer better. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought he was doing, but it wasn't giving him the effect he wanted. Well, I didn't know they where the skulls have hearts, and which ones have hearts. That's an interesting accent you took on. Yeah. You and your native Texan... ...ness? Yeah. Y'all get along, you hear? Nice. Ah, oh, stupid dogs! What are you talking about? I don't understand why it scares you. Why are you Or leaving? why you call them dogs? Oh, I'm still a pony. Yeah. No. A what? Oh, again. I forgot. <laughs> I literally just forgot, like, then and there. Like, I literally just forgot. How you doing, Sheldon? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be retired from being allowed to play games. No, no, we'll just have to play Dead Space sooner than no. we Oh yes. yes, that will make that'll me really be happy, our, That'll be our... That'll be fun. It doesn't matter if you're bad at it. It'll be fun regardless. I don't want to do that. Why not? The footage of the new one looks amazing. They showed a video, Josh, where it's, they... It's just a remaster, right? Uh, a remake? It looks... Yeah, it's more of a remaster, but they're kind of doing more to it, which is nice. Okay. God, it's going to be so scary. Scary yeah, good. you should watch the video because it talk it breaks down the sound design and how they want to, you know, make certain sounds kind of like louder in certain areas. It's actually pretty cool. Nice. Makes me excited. It is delayed though, unfortunately, but uh, that's okay. I can wait a couple more years. You know what? Game. With every game being delayed, hmm. like I don't know why they don't give like super conservative release dates and then surprise people. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I would be down for that. Lying? Would that... <laughs> would that mess... Why, why did you have to call it lying? Would that <laughs> mess up, though, Josh? Uh, oh! oh. <laughs> that was funny. That's fantastic. Do you see how you have to do that next time? There's a way to get on there. Oh, boo. Would that mess with sales? Probably. Right? Because, like... You want your anticipation. Your game Wait, it mess with pre-orders. Not even just about pre-orders, but like, what about sales, right? Like, let's say you dropped your game, would you release a trailer and now be like, oh, it's actually out, haha, -ha. to say that it's out? People would then miss it. Wait, why didn't you do anything? Oh, I, I didn't know it was on a timer. I thought it, I had to, like, get to that point. You thought it was, like... Like, like once I got there, it was Distance. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. That was proximity. Uh -huh. Proximity, that's a good word. Yeah, it probably would mess with sales. Yeah, you remember he has boots. Oh! Oh, 
man. Big key. Ooh. Wonder if you get it in this room. Oh, we've already been here. <laughs> <laughs> so, hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. You've been here before? Yeah. Have you explored up? I don't think I've gone this way. What the hell? I don't know. What? They drop bombs, apparently. <laughs> Funky colored bombs. So are these, uh, what you'd put on a cracker? Poo? That's not poo. If your poo looks like that, see a doctor. Why? What? That's not what poo's supposed to look like. Why not? Excuse me? It's poo-like. Lots of things are poo-like. Pudding is poo-like. Who We're saying is... like poo a lot. Poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why oh? Why was that a bad thing? Because the game really likes poo. No, the key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you want to use it here or there? Here or there? Oh, well, he made his choice, Josh. Jeez. <laughs> and there's so many keys. Look at these demi liches. Uh... Demi liches? Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. I forgot. I prepped. No wonder you forgot. Oh, these stupid floaty boys. Out of here. There are so many keys. Hey. There's so much going on. I'm overwhelmed. Hey! I'm stimulated. It seems like hey. That's not cool. Why is the floor flying Captain? The floor is made of floor. Okay, now you have to go up because you just committed to doing that when you could have gone down. No. Oh, you need a switch, dude. Go to the right. This game is brutal. Go to the right. No. Oh, okay. You okay. did it. Squeeze through. Don't dilly dally, dude. There's so much going on. I don't go back. Remember. Back and north. Where I die. Oh, here's where I die. Oh, we're on the other side of that area. Here's where I ah. Here's where I die. Here's where I die. Here's where I die. Nice. Oof. What the hell is going on, man? I'm gonna avoid this. Where do I go now? I don't know, but I'm super overwhelmed. You can't go there. Are you freaking out, man? I'm freaking out. What? <laughs> the game's like, I I'm just the calm one. I just abominable walls. Abominable walls. Abominable walls. Maybe not that one. Maybe not that one. Mm. I think it was close enough. Ah! Uh, where is the thing? I don't think it's down here. I think I'm. I think you have to head back. Yeah. Oh, this is all that room. This is just a big maze. I don't like that. I don't like big mazes. Big mazes. Big mazes. Big mazes. Oh, Not my. here. Nope. Go up. Just go back up. Josh. Yo. Are you looking forward to ever going back to like a more traditional Zelda? Like I know Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out soon, but do you want Zelda to go back to formula? Or is open world the new? Like should they continue fixing open world to make it even more, you know, immersive well, I guess? open world became a naughty word in gaming. <laughs> like the way right. it, yeah, yeah. It, it was, it was like, oh for fuck's sake, it's not another one. Right? And then and then Breath of the Wild's like, okay, this is what we wanted open world to be back when open world and sandbox was like an exciting innovation. Right. Because everything's right. open world in there, right? Sonic, Kirby just came out, which I haven't tried yet. I mean, I kind of Oh, is the to. new Kirby open world? Yes. What? But it looks weird. It does look weird. And I think 
That's I, I can't weird. remember who coined it, but someone said something that's like inhaling simulator, because all it is is like Kirby inhaling a bunch of things and just looking really big and kind of gross. <laughs> like he, what? like, let me show you guys a picture, right? Like he, in this new one, like you can inhale a car, I think? Yeah, oh yeah, I've seen that, I've seen that. It looked weird. Yeah. It did, he didn't change forms, he just sort of engulfed the car and then like the wheels of the car came out. Weird. Right, and so it's in like a more realistic world, and you can suck up a bunch of things, but for some reason in this time, apparently there are things that are too big for Kirby to eat. Anyways, but this is an open world now. There's the new Sonic one that's coming out, right? Everything has an open world. I'm really curious about the Sonic one, because Sonic's entire concept is oh. speed and... Okay, the, the best way for them to master that one is that you literally should be able to run literally everywhere. You should be able to run in water if you're going at top speed. You should be able to run up a mountain if you want to. There should be no invisible walls in that game, right? You shouldn't have to have ramps or hills that are made to look like ramps or anything for him to go up. You should literally be able to run up everything if you were actually Sonic, you know? In this like in the cartoons. Yes. I was like, yeah, it should be like. You gotta be can, running around. Can you move that block? Maybe not that way. How would I do it? To the side. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's so mad at me. Are you serious, dude? Just try to have a life. God. Oh, Anyways. just try to live my life. Yeah. Open world, man. I think everything's getting it, and I don't really know if it's a good thing or bad. What? So, I, it I, used to be a bad, very bad thing, I think. Right? Because it was the Ubisoft version of open world, which was just crap. Yeah. Right? The Push a block. Never mind. The waypoints that are everywhere, the the fetch quests and all of that. Mm. Breath of the Wild, I think, made open world something new that the industry has latched onto, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And I think Elden Ring built off of that idea, or maybe they had a similar idea, and the development kind of overlapped a bit. Sure. So I'm in the camp of that's where open world should be going, and. I'm excited. If it's if this Nintendo open world stuff is going to be more in the vein, of, or I guess Sonic's not Nintendo. Oh, uh, so Nintendo owns uh, Sega now. Do they? Mm. Oh, they Because they're letting they're letting Sonic everywhere though. Yeah. So Nintendo owns Sega. Cool. Um, either way, if it's yeah, it could be atrocious, but overall I'm excited. I like the new open world, open world ideas. I kind of want... So what, my question, back to my question then. Do you want to see Zelda continue being open world? Or do you ever want to kind of return to form? I want... Return to form is in like, more like Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, Majora's Mask. Like that type of return. I've never form. played Twilight Princess. And I really it's want to take it on the list. I want Zelda. And we, I don't know if we'll see it in Breath of the Wild. Maybe we will. I've got good faith in their team. I want them to do to Zelda what Elden Ring is doing to the open world. Because it's it's keeping that open world of Breath of the Wild. You can go anywhere, you can do anything, but depending on what you've got or how strong you are, different things will be harder. Right? Right. However, they've got their legacy dungeons in... Elden Ring still, so you still get those dedicated dungeons. It's not just, ooh, walk around this robotic monster, do a couple gimmicks. Like, those weren't really dungeons, those were like, I don't know, they seem too small. So then, to see these types of dungeons, even in this, or even the 3D ones like over in time, yeah. do you only want to see that in remasters, like when they port their games? I want to see them put these dungeons in Breath of the Wild. Right, because I think... Oh yeah, let's hope Breath of the Wild 2 does that. That's my biggest wish. I want dungeons to be more like dungeons instead of just a little puzzle. Yeah. I mean, the whole 3D puzzle concept was cool. Of course. But I don't feel like they did enough with it to classify it as a dungeon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, like, I like that you can go fight Ganon at the very beginning of the game. Like, I want... Because Ocarina of Time could have been that. Yeah. 
Right? I think that's what people wanted from Zelda when it was kind of in this Link to the Past Ocarina of Time. But nobody, nobody knew that's what they wanted. They just knew that Ocarina of Time innovated, but it wasn't... Maybe I have to go back. It wasn't as... Yeah, you have a key, man, remember? There was a place where you had to open up two doors and you chose to open the yeah. one on the bottom. That's, that's my that's my thought. Is Yes, I'd like mm. it to go back to form. But... But, in open, but keep open one. Yeah. Mm. Um, and in terms of, like, storytelling and cinematics... Do you remember how you got to the switch in the first place? No, I'm, that's what I've been looking for. I'm like, what oh, it must have been up there where it's blocked off now. So, no. So then you have to go down and. No, you're gonna fall. Go to the left. left. Go down okay. and then to the left. Right? Yes. Yeah. That's what I want to see. And I think what killed the story for me in Breath of the Wild, like it was interesting and fascinating. Yeah. Right? And I equate it to Dark Souls because I do with everything. Sue me. But, you know, the idea of. You're trying to find out what happened to the world. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's the storytelling in... Yeah, what happens if you go left? I don't think there's anything there. Yeah, this is the boss door. Yeah, so go down. And kill people. Go to the left. That's interesting. I feel like for me, for open worlds... I know like, it would... I don't know. It would take a lot of resources and stuff. What? But I want to see them with more people. I want it to look a little bit more alive. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. have to have like as many people as like what you would see in an MMO, right? That's just a gratuitous amount of people in a place, right? But make it look a little bit more realistic, mm -hmm. right? I think Breath of the Wild actually wasn't too bad. I know a lot there of people... There you go, you hit the switch. <clears throat> Found it. I know some people complain that Breath of the Wild looks empty, but you know, when you go to like the tavern or like the villages, they have people. And it, I, it would I think it's like full that. enough. Like, to see more adventures or whatever would be neat. Yeah. But that also might take away from that feeling of like I'm the adventurer, I'm exploring. It's like yeah, I'm just I'm just a dude doing things. Right. And Zelda's all supposed to, like it's supposed to be you are the one, you are the hero, you are the you're not just Joe Blow like everyone else. Yeah. I think if everybody was doing what you're doing, you'd be less. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, though, we're over time. So we're gonna see you guys all next time. Nadim has a key. He hit a switch. He's crushing it. Oh, well, he's up. basically a nutcracker, and this game is walnut. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite nut. Mine's the pecan. I like. Ooh. <laughs> That's a lie. Cashews. Cashews are the best. Really? Yeah, cashews are king. No, I don't like them anymore. The cashew taste kills me. Cashews? Yeah, they got a weird aftertaste. Um. Damn, that's hard. Favorite nut. Macadamia. We'll let you know next. Oh, macadamia is a really good one. Pecan. Almond. Put it in the comments. See you next time. Bye. It is I, Sarasaralaw.